We're out here in the garage today listening to the birds again this morning because we're going to talk about something that's very important. Coffee on a bicycle. Just because you're camping and pedaling a bicycle doesn't mean you don't need to think, at least think, about what you're going to do for coffee. Because you're going to need coffee when you get up in the morning. You're going to feel like crap. You're going to need some coffee to help get you through those times. There's a lot of different options out there. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I do on the boat, but also then what my plan is for the, for the bike. I love great coffee. I'm a fan of the press, fresh ground stuff, grind those beans, put some nice warm hot water over those grounds and press out some beautiful coffee. I love it. But when you're portable and you're mobile and you're concerned about weight, you have to make some, you know, sacrifices. And one of those is, is that in this trip, I'm going to forego the fresh ground coffee. I'm going to forego taking the press. Now what I do on the boat, just so you know, is I have this, all right, and this is the... Hario Ceramic Coffee Mill. On the boat, you've got a little more leeway. You can put some more stuff on there. A little bit more room. Not a lot of room, but a little more. This is what it looks like. It's just a grinder, a hand grinder. There's a... crank handle that goes on the top. Put your beans in there. On the top. Give it a crank by hand, grinds out some fresh coffee up to one or two cups, basically. Got your fresh ground coffee. At that point then, I utilize an AeroPress. I'll link you a picture of that. My AeroPress is actually over in the boat right now. And you can press out, ah, press out some fresh ground coffee. It's absolutely delicious. Maybe not quite French press, but it's pretty darn close. But when you're on a bicycle, whole nother game. Not to mention the weight, you've got to think about the space. I don't know that I have room. I mean, I could probably find room. But I don't know if I want to make the room to carry the grinder, the beans, and the aero press. And you might be thinking, well, it doesn't sound to me like you're as dedicated to coffee as you say. Ah, easy now, easy. So, the second best alternative, in my opinion, for coffee when you're on a bicycle, if you're not going to make the sacrifice of the space and the weight to actually take your grinder and your press, is instant. Now listen, I've never been a fan of instant coffee, but I will have to say that there's a product out there now, maybe it's been out there for a while, but I've just discovered it within the last year, from Starbucks. And it's called the Starbucks Via Instant. Now I've used this on one previous bike trip. And it was actually pretty good. Okay, I'll have to admit. It was pretty good. Maybe I was just desperate for coffee, but whatever. It actually worked out pretty well. I'll show you what these look like. One of these boxes has eight packets in it. And a packet makes a cup, basically. Eight ounces worth of water. They're tiny. Like this size. Dump that in your cup, put your hot water in there, get yourself a cup of hot coffee. But more importantly, the taste is actually really good. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not a big co instant coffee guy. These are available, I know, in the US. I don't know about in other places. Relatively affordable. They are certainly portable. They take up minimal amount of space. You can carry a lot of them, throw them in a Ziploc bag, put them in your bike, and you've got some coffee in case you can't bump into a place where you're camping. You don't have a coffee shop close by to get fresh coffee. This is a great alternative, very lightweight, very portable, makes a great cup of coffee, I have to admit. There is one other option that's out there. Uh, Folgers makes these things that looks like coffee in a tea bag where you can steep it in your cup 
First of all, it's almost too much like tea. I can't hardly stand that for a cup of coffee. <laughs> but secondly, it just doesn't taste as good. I've made it before. It's just not as good of a, it just isn't as good of a taste as even this instant. So that's another alternative that's fairly portable, fairly lightweight. But when it comes to having something that you can make a pretty, pretty, pretty good cup of coffee for being instant, these are hard to beat. So the Starbucks via, via, whatever you say, V-I-A, via, via packets. You can get them at most of the major retailers around this area. Certainly Starbucks sells them, but also most of the big box places like Walmart or the big grocery stores have them as well. Affordable way, pack your coffee along with you. That way when you're out on the trail, at least you'll have a great cup of coffee or a good cup of coffee. Because when it's cold in the morning and you get up and your body's hurting, you gotta have it. <laughs>